来 Google leadership， 我来 Google leadership and examine several pages in the search results. I found I have already learned some of the leadership skills. For example, I learned about autocratic leadership when I scored 90 points on exam, and I got 10 snaps on my on my palms because my teacher said, "Hey, you lost 10 points." <laughs> I learned about visionary leadership when my friend dragged me to a direct sales conference where everyone proclaimed, hey, join us, follow us, and the world will be before, before you. I learned about bureaucratic leadership when applying stationery from my company. They request me to fill out an application carefully addressing the reasons why I need those stationery and where I'm going to use for them. After I handed my paper, they told me, well, you'd receive your supplies one month later. Yes, those are types of leaderships. However, is there any better way to lead? As I delve into deep research, I found some very simple, yet probably better rules to be a great leader. Rule number one. It's not about you. So there's a joke. A manager makes you feel they are important, but a true leader makes you feel you are important. This is the reason why I like to stay in the Toastmaster clubs, because you guys make me feel I'm important. You are important. Yes, so you guys are true leaders. <laughs> in a business world, a lot of managers seem not to realize the day they become leader, their performance is judged by the performance of others. In other words, it's not about what they do, it's about what others do. It's not about what they need, it's about what their supporting needs need. It's not about, it's not about their performance, it's about their employees' performance. I had a part-time job as a self, uh, assistant teacher at a cram school when I was a university student. It was, my responsibility was to oversee the third year junior high students. So simply put, I was their leader. It was during that time I realized my performance was defined by the performance of others. In this case, my students. My performance was evaluated by their happiness and confidence of studying its environment, yet improving their grades. Rule number two. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's only about you. <laughs> Things will only change when you change yourself. Last year, Jenny asked me if I wanted to join the Toastmasters competition. Um, I hesitated because my boss had offered me a position in our Hong Kong subsidiary, which would have meant leaving Taiwan immediately. In the end, I refused the offer. Despite this, I still found excuses for not joining the competition. <laughs> However, Paul's action truly inspired me to encourage everyone in our club to join the competition. He registered for the Chinese one. Well, if I, Paul, can do it, everyone in our club can do it too. Amen. <laughs> so, despite his basic Chinese skills, <laughs> he defeated most most native speakers. So true leaders understand only through personal 
Only do personal change can the world change around him. He changed my mind. I decided to join the competition next time. So these are the first two messages. Yeah. It's not about you, and it's only about you that I want to deliver. <clears throat> there isn't any single element of leadership that doesn't hinge on one of these two principles. My final message, you know, I have a really bad habit of putting my stuff everywhere. So every time I cannot find my stuff, I always ask my boyfriend, hey, where are my glasses? Where is this? Where is that? So one time, my mobile phone was missing, and I was looking for it frantically. And then he pulled out his cell phone and called me. And then he pointed at me and said, Hey, look at it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, listen to the vibrant sound. It was from your pocket. <laughs> yes, it was in my pocket. How did I never notice? <laughs> so sometimes we may find ourselves spinning around searching for silver bullets of every topic. Maybe, maybe everything we need to know about leadership and our life is simply to start listening. Thank you.